Hi you guys, so I'm just going to vlog my day today. I thought that would be kind of fun. It's actually a beautiful day out. It's gorgeous out. My parents have such a pretty backyard. But I hope you guys saw my last video because I gave you guys kind of a tour of where we're staying here at my parents' house, which we are super grateful that we have this place to stay while we are looking for our dream home to buy today i just want to bring you guys along for the day i have a few errands i'm gonna run and i just got some packages and i thought i would share with you guys what i recently got so i wanted to start with a little amazon haul because i recently just got quite a few things off of amazon just in the past couple days and i actually haven't really ordered too much on amazon lately but first is a pickleball set if you guys saw a recent video joshua and i were playing tennis and we were saying we really want to try pickleball so we got this set on amazon i feel like it was like 50 dollars, but i'll link everything down below there's four paddles they look like this and um these are the balls they came with like i think six so pretty fun has anybody else played pickleball we tried to play just the two of us on a tennis court and we were like okay i think it would be way more fun to have four people so we need two more people that would be willing to play pickleball with us well, another thing i got i'm gonna return this because i tried it on but i thought i'll still show you guys i might order it in just a size smaller i'm obsessed with i don't know if you guys have seen like those cami um bra tanks that amazon has everybody has ordered them it seems like i have those in tons of colors i wear them all the time and i was like maybe i can find something else on amazon that i like that's really similar to that because i like the tanks that have like the built-in bra in it this was actually pretty big and this was a four so i didn't think it would be looking at it but when i put it on it was like very very loose so i'm going to be returning that and then another thing that i always order on amazon is my brow pencil I have shared this brow pencil for years. If you guys are new here and you haven't seen it, this is the best brow pencil ever, in my opinion, and it's super cheap. So now I just always order it off of Amazon because I can't even find them in store. These are some socks that I got their hangs. I have the taller, like white scrunchy socks that are hangs that I got from Amazon. My taller ones definitely are thicker. I've worn them a couple times this summer and I'm like, oh my goodness, my feet are so hot. My other ones were like way taller. So I just think it's a cute look. This is a brow lamination kit. I've seen so many people get their brows laminated recently, like professionally. And then I have seen a few people online talk about like lamination kits that you can just get off Amazon. It seems like some people have good looks, some people don't. <laughs> I just wanted to try it. So I might end up looking really scary or it might end up being really, really great. This is the reason why I wanted to do it. I'm very into the brows and mine actually do have like a couple areas where they're like sparse and it seems like they're just never growing back but i think they do the hairs just grow like straight out or down and then i just end up plucking them but i think if i could laminate all my brows to go like the same way then maybe it would help with growing them out too i don't know we'll see i might try that in this video oh another thing i got i almost forgot about this so my hair is naturally curly as you guys can tell and it has not been doing what i want it to do lately i think i need to trim it i always cut my own hair this is a couple days old it probably needs to be washed too if you're new and you didn't know i used to work in a salon years ago and i used to just have some of the girls there like trim my hair or something but i've just always liked it the most when i trim my own hair i also need to get some new hair product because i'm out of a few things but this back to this this is a curling iron by bedhead i've never seen a curling one i don't know if you guys can tell where it's like thin down here and thicker here so i really liked the shape of this curling wand because that's kind of how natural curls are anyway. They're normally tighter right at the root and looser at the bottom. So that's why I was like, well, maybe I could use this to kind of 
help any areas that I feel like aren't curling the way I want them to curl. You know what I mean? And another thing I need to do is package this up and ship it out today. I just sold these little Sam Edelman loafers on my Poshmark. So I need to ship those out today. So that's one of the errands I need to run is to ship this out and then I want to go to the hair store and then I want to run and get the dogs some of these treats that they're obsessed with from PetSmart. So Joshua actually told me that he's going to be home a little bit earlier from work today. He was like, oh, well, I would go with you. I think he might want to go to Sam's Club to like look for these protein shakes or something. So that is what is on the docket today. Lots of like random little errands. And I thought I would bring you guys along. I'm going to put a lot more things on my Poshmark now that we're more situated here. But these Sam Edelman loafers, I don't remember how much I paid for them. At least $75, I would say. And I wore them one time. And I ended up selling them for like $28. So I feel like that's, that's a good price if you guys want to check out my Poshmark. I need to add a lot more things to it, like I said, though. I feel like I'm showing you guys a lot of random purchases right now, and I don't normally make this many purchases at once, but it just kind of happened. Okay, I ordered a couple of pairs of sneakers, and these are Jordan sneakers. I actually think they're really cute. If you guys are unfamiliar, Jordan sneakers can be very, very hard to come across. These are called MA2s, and I don't know if this one is that hard to come by, but, uh oh, is it? There we go, there's the lighting. I think these are probably my favorite, these white ones. So I'm normally a six and a half or a seven, and I got them in a seven because I don't even think they were available in the six and a half, and I feel like they're a tiny bit too big, and I can't find them anywhere online in a six and a half, so I'm super, super bummed. I'm like, I don't know, maybe I should just wear the sevens, even though they feel a tiny bit big, because I really like them. I know this look is different, and it's probably not for everybody, but I think it's cool. I'm testing the lighting and like all the bathrooms down here, and for filming purposes, not the best, but oh, my hair is just driving me crazy today. So I wanted to test out this curling iron while well, I'm waiting for Joshua. I just got off the phone with him. He should be home in like a half hour and then we're gonna go run a few errands. But I thought, while I'm waiting for him, I will try this out. So if you guys end up getting one of these irons, I do have a different bed head iron that's just like this where it literally only has an on and off switch. There's no dial or anything to have it at like a certain temperature. So it does end up getting pretty hot. But probably not going to take this small section start out my whole head I don't think it's heated up very well yet but oh yeah I think that's cute I feel like it definitely does look more natural than like any other wand maybe I wouldn't do every piece of my hair obviously I would probably just do like a few random pieces but another tip if you have naturally curly hair or maybe if you're just wanting like natural looking curls when you curl your hair. A lot of times what I do is I'll do some forward and then some backwards and I feel like it just gives it a more natural look. I just curled it all. Well, not all of it, but I just took random pieces and curled. Um, I feel like I kind of like it. I feel like I definitely need to like shake it out. But I only worked on it for like maybe five, ten minutes, not too long. So, I mean, because really all I do is air dry my hair now. I don't even dry it with like a diffuser or anything, like when my hair is curly. I don't know, I think it's kind of, it's kind of fun. It's like really curly now. I literally forgot to bring my camera when we were running errands today. So we ran a bunch of errands and yeah, my hair is still going strong. So I got a bunch of hair products. We went to PetSmart and <laughs> Joshua picked out a couple of toys for the dogs and clearly they're very excited. 
dude especially he's like freaking out but Joshua picked out like these big toys this one has multiple squeakers <laughs> and then we went to Sam's Club Joshua got these he loves these and then wait go sit down go sit down we got these too which we've never got before and we each tried them in the car and we actually really like them so I was like should I go back in and get like five more boxes? But we didn't. <laughs> you want this one? And you want this one? Come on, get push. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, I should show these treats too. That the dogs are literally. They're human. Uh, you're allowed yeah. to eat them as humans. We just found this out. Our dogs are obsessed with these. Double whammy Sammy's. This wiggles and. Oh, now the toys are. Oh, now he. Doesn't care. Dude. Yeah, now he wants me to. Um, but these wiggles and wax treats, apparently, the girl there was telling me, like, they eat them there. Like, the workers. Apparently, they're, like, human grade. So, anyway, our dogs are obsessed with them. We got three more because there's only one left in here. But they, they literally look exactly like an Oreo. Oh, okay. No it. <laughs> it's the next day. I feel like yesterday because I didn't take my camera with me when Joshua and I went out running a bunch of errands yesterday. I felt like I really didn't get too much footage. I feel like I basically just did a huge haul and shared with you guys a bunch of stuff that I've ordered or bought recently. So today, oh I thought that something was on my face but it was on the lens. Um, so today has basically been like a primping day for me um my hair is still wet but i went to the hair store yesterday and i'll show you guys some stuff that i got but i put a glaze over my hair earlier um just to kind of tone it i have highlights and just to make them like a little more ashy um so i toned it and then i got some different hair products that i tried in my hair today i also trimmed my hair today and these are like my natural curls without using the curling iron and i feel like my curls are already curling so much better today just even putting that toner over my hair like i feel like it actually gave my hair a lot of moisture and then just trimming it and the new products i used and stuff i actually feel like my curls are like curling way better today i thought i would show you guys what i got at the hair store and then i'm actually going to put some self tanner on my face then I think I'm going to laminate my brows. So I'll bring you guys along for that. I'm a little bit nervous. So this is everything that I got at the hair store. It's called Cosmoprof. If you're a cosmetologist or I think even have like your esthetician license, nail technician license, you can shop at these places. So this is the lotion I always get. And I just get a better deal when I go um, to Cosmoprof because I think they're like wholesale prices or something. Diva Curl. I've never used this mousse before, but I've actually gotten a lot of suggestions in the comments from you guys to try out the Diva Curl brand, so I thought I would try that. I got this too because it was on clearance. It's just a little moisture setting spray, and I actually used the mousse in this, and this today, this is by KMS. It's a perfecting lotion. For curly hair so i use that today too this is the must have with my curly hair i have to have the moroccan oil so i got a huge thing of it and then i got this it's a 60 second mask treatment this as well by kms this is a sea salt spray and i use this all the time those are all of my hair products that I got this time and then I got the toner too but I already put that on my hair. This bathroom isn't even the bathroom that Joshua and I currently use but I just feel like it's bigger and this is on the other side of the basement. I showed it in the tour but I also feel like the lighting's just better in here. Okay so I have Loving Tan 2 Hour Express in dark. Oh I also have an ultra dark. Yeah this one I just bought. So this is the self tanner I always use, but I actually haven't self tanned my body in a really long time because we were at the beach this summer. We've been on um, my sibling's boat. We've just been outside a lot and then my parents have a pool and I'm obviously out there 
a lot. This is what I always use on my body for my tan if I don't have like a natural tan. With the loving tan stuff, I get all of them. I get the two hour express, the regular one, dark, ultra dark, I don't know. I have a bunch of different ones, so I like them all. Even when my body is tan, I never really tan my face. I usually always have a hat on for anti-aging purposes. Sorry, I'm kind of balancing this on a random box. So I always do like to self-tan my face. So with the brow lamination that I'll be doing in a little bit, you can't get your face wet for like 24 hours. So that's why I'm like, I wanna do this first and get this out of the way. So what I do, I just take a little makeup brush. This one I've like dedicated to self-tanning. And then I just take a little bit of this stuff. I'm using the 2R Express Dark. I was wondering, but I would have been fine with any of them, really. Um, so then I just put it on my face where I would normally contour my face with bronzer. And I have to be honest, this stuff, it looks like it's like really stark and like, oh my goodness, that's gonna look crazy. But really, once you rinse it off, it's kind of like, oh, is it even there? So I just keep rubbing in though. Keep rubbing in. I try to stay away from like the mustache area because you know, that could end up looking a little dark, I guess. And I don't know if I, I think I told you guys this in a different vlog. Um, before we went on vacation with Joshua's family, I did this the night before and then I slept with it on. And in the morning, I had like a huge drool mark down my face. It was really funny, so I was like scrubbing it off. It all worked out, but it was just kind of funny. Okay, I think I have it pretty well rubbed in now. So two hours. In the meantime, I think I might work on my nails. So I'm back in our room that we're staying in. But when I put the toner on my hair today, my press-on nails, they were bright white. They kind of turned like a weird grayish blue color. I don't think that's gonna come off. They've been on for almost two weeks now and two days it'll be like two weeks. So I feel like I'm totally fine with taking them off. I wanted to show you guys what I use to take them off. So these are Kiss Impress color nails. I don't have any more white ones, but this is what they look like. I get them anywhere. The white ones I actually ordered off of the Ulta website and it was actually an OPI color. So OPI like collaborated with um, Kiss on some of them. So I really, really liked the white. I wanna get more of those. But now I just gotta figure out what color I wanna do next. I have so many press on nails. Or I was also thinking, I just got this at the store the other day and I thought this color was just really fun. I thought, well, I could even just polish my nails, but I don't know. I love having press-ons on. So this is what I always use to take them off if I'm taking them off early, and it works really, really good. So I totally suggest having this around. These are all of the press-on nails that I have. Tons of different colors. I'm really excited about this color, though. I think that's just a really cool color. Um, I have quite a few of these blues because... I'm obsessed with that one. We even have some like longer fun ones I haven't tried yet. I'm always scared to do the long ones, but I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I should just try it. But I also wanted to show you guys my toes because these have been on for almost two weeks as well. Not one has fallen off or anything. These are actually the red aspen nails. So one of my followers actually told me about them and I ordered them from her link that she had and I love them so I'm actually going to place an order this was the first set of the toes that I got and I really really liked them I want to get them again okay I'm in my parents bathroom now it's like eight o'clock at night this is kind of how my tan has turned out I still haven't washed it off mom what? am I gonna put tan on your face yeah. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to myself to my mom. Do you want the two hour one or like the six hour progression one? Do you want one where you wash it off in the morning or do you want one where you wash off late tonight? Tonight, I guess. Okay.
And then I'm gonna laminate my eyebrows. Maybe mom's eyebrows. <laughs> You're thinking like probably not. Right? I wanna see what yours looks like. Okay, so mom didn't really understand what laminating your eyebrows even meant. And then I was thinking, oh, I guess I should have explained that in my video because I never even explained what it is. So basically, it just like makes all your eyebrow hairs go straight up. And mine, I feel like they grow everywhere. Like some grow down or like just straight out and then I end up just plucking them. So basically, it just makes them all just go straight up. Some of the before and after pictures I saw in the Amazon reviews looked a little bit intense, but some looked really, really good. So I hope mine <laughs> looks good. Mm -hmm. Wow. But after, it might look intense right now, after two hours when you rinse off, it isn't like as intense. Actually, I like it dark. Well, I could have used the ultra dark on you if you wanted yeah. more dark, because I'm just using dark on you. Oh, use ultra. Okay, so we'll see what you look like in the morning. Okay. <laughs> so this is what this kit looks like. I guess you can do lash lamination and then you can do eyebrow lamination, which I'm just gonna do the eyebrow lamination. So it gives me all the directions there. So I'm just gonna figure out what I need to do. Oh, I was just thinking I should give you guys a really good before of my eyebrows. See, I've got some, like a bald spot here. This eyebrow is not bad, but we'll see what they end up looking like if they're all going up straight. I have my plastic wrap ready. I haven't watched a video on how to do this or anything, so I hope I'm doing this right. It's a clean micro brush. That must be this. Just this tiny little brush. Oh, these are the nails I ended up doing today too. The press ones. Went with a bright, it's kind of like a bright um, reddish pink. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put this on my eyebrows. And then put plastic wrap over them. It says seven to 10 minutes. From some of the reviews, I think some people lost all their eyebrow hairs. Progress. I think this is one of the last steps. Getting close, we'll see. Oh boy, I'm nervous. It's actually a couple days later after I laminated my eyebrows. I was very, I don't know, a little embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> because they were, like so the first night I did them, they were like really, really long and all sticking up straight. I think Joshua was even a little bit scared, wouldn't you say? It was a new experience. Yeah, so anyway, I trimmed them down and now it's been a couple days so I feel like they're kind of taming down a little bit. So I think I like it now, but at first it was a little like, whoa. <laughs> so I think even in like my Nordstrom shopping video, they're kind of like, woo, because you can't rinse them or get them wet for 24 hours so anyway i think they're they're growing on me so literally <laughs> so that was that i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog we're getting ready to go take the boys on a nice long walk right now yep so hope you're all doing well thank you so much for watching subscribe hit the thumbs up button and i will see you really soon in my next video